Oh, maybe have to. Right. So is everybody excited to make something tonight? Oh, yeah. Yes. Do we get to Mess. see what it's going to be? Like a little preview? Yeah, I'll show you. It's kind of like that one I did before. Um, Oh, we're not going to use it again anyway, so. I make it similar to this one. Okay. Oh, awesome. Oh, oh. beautiful. So Nothing excited. hard. No. You know what? It's, it's all happy little process. trees. Yeah, it's about process. It's not going to be, like, if you do it in the right steps, it's not hard. It's just okay. be patient with yourselves and don't worry about it because in the end it's still going to look awesome. <laughs> uh, that's good. So, did anybody have any problems finding the supplies that you needed, or was that all pretty easy to get? No, your list was really helpful. Yeah, oh, your good. list helped. The me links lot. to like Michael's and the links. Oh, good, good. Also, like if we don't have, if there's a phthalo blue in, the, in our Prussian blue, it doesn't really matter. Any color, because they're all going to look a little different. But there's different shades and different things and they all still look good and decent so it just really doesn't matter as long as it's a close color blue is blue black is black white's white and then if you mix them you get certain colors you know that kind of stuff so cool yeah so everybody has the brushes everybody has a knife everybody has a palette yeah all right <laughs> here's my palette all messed up already see here just gonna get a couple of brushes and do you know what the most important thing i find is what? baby wipes oh you gotta have baby wipes you can wipe your hands <laughs> i forgot that you can use paper you can use paper towels too but baby wipes really take the oil paint off your hand right it away it works so fabulous it really it's does magic. Did Very I, <laughs> I got them, but forgot to bring them into my room. <laughs> awesome. <it>. Okay. <laughs> I right. ran. And <laughs> Don't want to well, miss this. <laughs> do you think we could start doing this? Put on our liquid white. Um, and what liquid white does is uh, get Bob Ross kind or this kind doesn't really matter. Um, and what it does is it makes your canvas wet so you can oh. move the colors and paints around. The only thing is you don't need to use very much of it. So what I'll show you what I'm gonna do here. Um, if you want, if you want to grab your two inch brush, like the biggest one. Okay. And then I just put a little bit of liquid white on my canvas here, but you can see how runny it is. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a really super runny, but. You could run both your, your brush to it like this, load it up kind of like both sides of it. So you've got quite a bit. And I usually start and make a big X. And then I'll get a little bit more and then I'll go across it like this. But then that kind of gets all your corners of your canvas, right? So you have it kind of like that. You see what I'm saying? Got to fill it with paint. And this stuff's really runny and messy, so. Yeah, no. yep. what we're doing here, we're just applying. Yeah, I know it will. Here, this tray. We're applying this to the whole canvas. And what we do is we do little X strokes across like this. Oh. And then it'll blend it all in. And then just crisscross across the mm -hmm. It's still going on. It's just a different brush. And then you can go all the way up and down it. It's just like the karate kid, up and down, <laughs> side to side. Yeah. And basically, all we're trying to do is cover the whole canvas but you don't need to put a lot of it on. You can see my brush. I just, I basically put a little bit on each side twice. And a way to test it is if you take your finger, if you can put it up to it and you can still see your fingerprint, that's about the right amount. 
if it's too much and you can't see it anymore, then you've got too much on it. And if you feel like you have too much, all you have to do is take a paper towel. Shop towels are the best, so you can just kind of wipe it off. If you guys want to just let me know when you're done that, we'll... I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Done. All right. Let me just clean this off here. Too much on here makes a mess. We don't need that anymore. That look at the lid on. We're not going to. Yeah, as you can see, I get it all over the place. I so. have to clean it off. We'll, see it later. well, that's the fun part. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Making a mess. <laughs> okay, and you don't have to clean your brush out, you guys. Um, so this look at what we're going to do next step. So are we waiting for anybody else or is everybody kind of here now? I think we can keep going, but then okay. I'm muted. All right, so let me clean this one little spot. I said I make more of a mess on myself than anywhere. There we go. <laughs> okay, now do you guys do you guys want to color find the color Prussian blue? Okay, fine. Sorry, I was so busy trying to figure out my laptop, I didn't get my paints out, so I'm gonna work with you guys at the same time. So here's here's my Prussian blue. Did you guys all find it? Yes. The, this one. Yes. Does it does it say Prussian blue on it? I think so. It's only blue okay. on that. Or phthalo blue, any blue is okay. Yeah, yeah. you Which said one? the uh, phthalo blue. No. Yeah, yes. that's what okay. I have yeah. as well. On your list. Yeah, phthalo blue, phthalo blue is fine as well. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what? In fact, I'll use phthalo blue too. I thought I said Prussian, but I can use phthalo. And what you want to do, Okay, and also if you want to get black together, you just need a little touch of black and blue and I'll show you what you do. Um, a lot of people like to put all their colors out in one time. I like to go one at a time just so I don't get all messy and confused with it. But so I put a little bit of blue on the canvas or so I'm on my uh, palette, I'm sorry. And I just have a little touch of black I want to add to it too. So I just gonna put that right up in the corner. Can you guys see what I did there? Yeah, oh yes. And, and again, look, I apologize. Look, where's my hands all messed up already? <laughs> <laughs> Technical issues get my laptop working, so I don't have a chance to get my paint all out. So, how much blue? Uh, I'm sorry, how much black? Just a dab? Yeah, just a little dab of it's going to be fine. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, no, no, that's what we're doing. Anyone can ask questions, just blurt it out. And, I don't have my laptop, I can't read it anyway. Okay, so what you do. Take your knife. Ooh, gotta get my knife. Got my knife. Yeah, and you just squish it out like this. Squish it out. Cool, cool. Got the right hand, look at you. And then this little dab of black, it's gonna squish that out as well, just to bring it out like that so you have access to it. And then I'm getting my dirty brush that I, I did all the, the, the white yeah. on, the liquid white. And I'm just gonna tap, just gonna tap both sides of my brush like this. And don't worry about the white and the blue, that's gonna mix good on the palette. And then I'm just gonna really, really easily touch a little bit of black on both sides. Can you still see me okay, guys? Yes. Because yeah. I just barely touched the black on both of it and then I got mostly blue. And you can bring on the other side, that's the color. So it gives it a little bit of a dark color. So I got my brush kind of filled up. You see how we did that both sides? And I just okay. touched, touched a little bit. And what you want to do is you start up in your corners, making the X stroke. So I'm going to come across. And then I'm just going to. And what you want to do is you want to leave little spaces of white kind of in between it, because we're going to blend that all together and it eventually it'll look like a sky. So just, and you don't need much because of the liquid white on there, this blue, you just kind of keep working it back and forth. But try to leave some of the white showing or in 
in some of the areas. But we start off in the corners where it should be a little bit darker and that's where that black came in. And as you can see, as you work it down, it gets lighter and lighter, right? Mine is really dark. <laughs> okay, if, if it's really dark, just add a little bit of your liquid white again to your brush if you want. Anyway, or, my, brush, my brush is a lot skinnier than yours. <laughs> are you a two inch or a one inch? It's a two inch, but it doesn't have as many bristles. It's skinny. Oh, okay. Yes, that's sometimes, yeah, this is a Bob Ross one. These are a little bit more expensive. Maybe that's why, but you can still work with it. And you know what? If you find it's too dark, you guys, let me show you another little trick. And again, <laughs> I'll just work with me because I'm not a professional, so I'm just showing you how I do them. Um, oh, so great. Okay, you, you can take titanium white, and I'll show you. We're going to use this for clouds afterwards anyway. So same thing if you want to squirt some on your palette. See how I just squirted more on here? And okay. same thing, bring it out, brush it out. Should probably clean your knife off first. I didn't do that, but whatever. <laughs> and then if you're a little bit dark, take your brush in the corner and just kind of work it in. So you can see how you can blend that in. But I want it a little bit lighter in this side, maybe. And then you just kind of keep working it across. I think I'm just going to have a very dark sky. <laughs> No, yeah, me too. It's gonna look like a storm. It's, it's a British sky for me. See if, if it's too much dark. Yeah, it's a Cape Cod nor'easter for me. <laughs> Which is perfect. You can just see how you just kind of keep working it across. If you see me like my brother and I painting, this is usually how I start is with the sky. Because you want to start off with the furthest part away in your painting first, because we're going to be building it upwards, right? But you see how we have this guy now, you guys? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to show you the next move, then you can work on them together. I'm going to go back into my blue. Okay. And then on the bottom, because we're going to have water underneath here, just start on one side and go across. Other side go across, you can get some more blue in there, a little bit of white. And then you're just gonna keep working that across. And what we're just doing in the bottom part here, guys, is just filling this up with color. So don't worry about the colors, but if you can make it look different in different places, like by adding different parts of your white, so I'm going across and then just work it all in here. And I'd say probably, the bottom third of your canvas, we want to have the, the same color as the sky, but it doesn't have to match the sky, just the blue color. And if you want to fill this hole in, you guys see what I'm doing? Yeah. And don't worry if it's not super even, because we're going to have trees all over here. We're going to have mountains up in here. This is just kind of background color and background. And then I, what I like to do if it gets a little bit too white is I'll just, or dark, I take a little bit of white and just stream it across and just kind of blend that in. See, it's not too hard, is it guys? No, I'm just having trouble with the color. I think I messed up on the color. Is it too dark or too right? Or too dark. Right. Okay, well, don't worry about that because I'll show you what we're going to do. Once we all kind of get to this stage, we're going to add white clouds up in the sky. So that'll that'll offset this. My on water kind of looks like a storm. That's cool. <laughs> a dark storm. <clears throat> yeah, and like I said, if it's a little bit too dark, just take a little bit of white and you can like, you can add it in a little spots and then just kind of, do your X marks and blend it in. And you know what? The little imperfections that come out of your brush, like if there's a little dark spots, if there's little light spots, that's what makes them look really unique and cool. So the mistakes, so don't, just relax and have fun and let the brush 
the canvas will take whatever it wants out of your brush. So don't worry about it. Okay. okay. Are you going really light when you're doing the uh, water part? Um, it, it's kind of, yeah, it's, it's kind of a medium stroke. I'm just pushing back and forth on it. And the reason okay. I'm not dumping like this is because I want it to look like water. So I'm right. bringing it each way. And it's like a medium fill. Like it's not, I'm not really pushing hard, but okay. I'm kind of going across and let that liquid white pick it up. And then in the sky too, once you guys are done your X's, if you want to just kind of brush across it, and that gets rid of any of your brush strokes. So you can see what I'm doing. How's every how's everybody doing? I'm doing great. Is it looking like like it's kind of like mine? I'm like, but I think I'm wearing more of the paint than I'm putting on the canvas. <laughs> <laughs> That's why the baby wipes are nice. I'm the same way. <laughs> oh, baby wipes. Just getting some more. Did everybody get paint thinner? Yes. And yes. you found the and you guys found the beater box for cleaning your brushes and stuff as well. Uh, we did. Get it. Yeah, he surprised me with the Bob Ross thing, and it came with a bucket with the screen in the bottom. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that's the best one. I've got one of those too. So those are when good. You put, when you put this in, does it go in like that or like this? Uh, let me find you. Hold on. I'm Sue. Okay, hi Sue. There we are. Yeah, you put it in upside down. Beautiful. Like this or like this? Yes. No, like upside down so that like you this. can. Yeah, can you show us yours? Yeah, I have, I have a new one here. So you see how I have? You, you drop it in like this. That's what I figured. Yeah, and then you want to fill up the thinner just underneath it a little bit. Oh, so you just, and you want to try to keep the lid on it because thinner is really yeah, quite dead. You don't want to skip that too much. Okay, is everybody pretty close to this where we're at here now? Need the knife. Right there. Oh, Steven. There we go. Is, <laughs> is everybody pretty close to here? Yeah. Do you want me to show you how to put clouds in really quick and then we can kind of still work on clouds and the rest of this? Is yes, yes? Yes. Okay. That's what I'm going to bring my little pellet up here again. It's just titanium white again and squirt it out. And then just you just want to pull it out. You got lots to work with. Well, that wasn't a hint. <laughs> I think I need to wash my hands first. Yeah, keep your hands clean because then you touch your face, you touch your head. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm the same way. It's always. We'll, we'll call this Steve's crash course in painting. <laughs> if it's not in your face, you're not doing it right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Does everyone want to grab a fan brush? Okay. 
Okay, so I've got my pellet and I've got the fan brush. And what you want to do is you want to load it up. Like, see how I'm pushing this in here? I'm pull, pulling my uh, brush through it on both sides so that your brush will look kind of like that, if you can see what I'm doing there. So basically, I just bring it through. I didn't take my glue. Yeah, I guess I can see. Right there. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you guys see that okay? And then what you do is you take your corner and you start up on when the thing with clouds is you just make them fluffy. So you just you can twirl your brush around different areas, bring them around this way, and then turn your brush the other way. You can make going up this way, however you want your clouds to go. But basically, you're just taking your brush and you're twirling it. And they can even go off the canvas if you'd like them to. They can join each other, they can go up, however. And then once, you, once your paint is off, you can still use your same dirty brush, go through it again and do the same thing. Start in the corner and then slowly push it in a little bit further. And you probably just wanna keep it to the top, probably third, because we're gonna put a mountain in here. So, there we go. and then once you kind of have it scribbled in like that, um, everybody have a one inch brush. Yeah, you just you just take your bottom corner and you make little circles. So you blending it. <laughs> And then one inch, he's, he's, there's a little another one inch, like that's the one inch, yeah. I don't think we got any. No, we could, they didn't have any. Where's the one inch again? Do you guys see how I'm doing that? I'm just kind of blending out the bottom. Yeah. And that makes it look a little bit fluffier and gives it a little bit of a shadow. How you, you're circling? Yeah, making little circles. So see how I'm just circling it? That was okay. Circle. And you don't want to take out all of them. You kind of want to keep the tops of the, so that it gives a little bit of shadow. So what this does by doing little circles is it blends out the bottoms so that it looks like you have uh, shadows underneath it. Does that make sense? Makes sense. That's quite Yeah, just little, and you don't press hard, just kind of a light, I'm sorry, kind of like little light circles underneath it, so. And then if you, if you did too much of it, all you do is you go back to get your, your brush again, and then you just add more to them. And you could do this all day long, like you just keep adding clouds to them. You just add it, you don't brush it. And you just put them in randomly wherever you think they should go, and then same deal again. See, I'm just kind of making little circles underneath it, and it just kind of, it knocks out the bottom to make it look like there's a shadow. That is so cool. Are you making it work on your canvas? Yeah, I think so. Nice. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you figure out kind of how to do it. You just pat it on and then you go with the brush and do the circle. Go the brush and do the circle. Okay. And then another thing you can do too, like in different spots, if you want to just very lightly, just kind of lift it up like this, it'll make it look like the wind's kind of blowing it. See, I'm barely, barely touching it. And then if I've actually whitened my paint, I sometimes just run it into the water here. It's a way to clean the white off. <laughs> <laughs> I had to get is, some more is, white. Is, yeah, yeah, is everybody understanding this okay? I'm not, I'm not going too fast or too. I have a question because I have, this is Sue, I have a much bigger space between my clouds and my water. Does that matter? Um, You Did might want to bring it. We're going to put a mountain in, in right in the middle here. So it doesn't really matter that much, but you put your liquid white on it, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It shouldn't matter. And you could bring it down if you want to. Um, it's 
really doesn't matter too much. Like even if you accidentally, if you fill this whole thing up in here, it's not gonna matter. Cause we're gonna build our, our uh, mountain in here and then we drag the mountain kind of down into it to make it into fog. So then oh. that way it, it covers up a lot of that. Okay. And then we're gonna put happy trees across here. We're gonna bring them into the water and then we're gonna make some big trees on the outside of it. And it'll all come together and it'll look super cool when we're done. That, that part I like. <laughs> and you know what don't don't ever be hard on yourselves don't ever think it like i i still sometimes look at my stuff i'm like oh yuck i don't like it but it just it's supposed to be fun just let it be fun and have your creating cool who cares like, don't oh, I, like be, I like the colors if nothing else I like the way it's yeah and, and don't be hard on yourselves because it's it's supposed to be fun and relaxing so <laughs> yeah i'm not i'm, I'm easy to please when it comes to and you can, like you said, you can bring your clouds. It's your world. So you can put them wherever you want to, however you want them. And then if you want, just lightly touch them up like that. That brings, that gets rid of some of your, your brush marks. And it also gives it a little kind of indication that the wind's kind of blowing through here. And this is the part where you said, you're doing, what was it, streaks or you're pulling it? Oh yeah, just see how I have my brush very lightly. I'm just lifting it up like this. Yeah. Oh. Just barely <laughs> touching it and see how it kind of, how it makes, how it makes the cloud kind of push itself up. Oh yeah. And you just barely, barely lightly touch it and you bring it up that way. And it just kind of makes it look like the wind's kind of blowing the clouds around a little bit. Oh, cool. Yeah, and in the same if it's too dark one spot, you can just kind of blend it out a little bit. And it kind of just make little circles underneath the half of the of the paint so it kind of breaks it down and gives it a shadow look. And then if you have extra paint, you can just run it into your water. Okay, that's the part that I missed. Sorry. Extra oh, no, see, see, I just like to if I have some different colors up here and it's dark, so I put them into the cup into the water here, just so it makes it look. You know, just different colors of it. Right. So if I had a little bit too much white here and it's dark right here, I'll just, I'll just put it into this color here. So just, uh, hmm. there's one thing about painting. If you can have different, different colors and different things, it just adds to the painting. So imperfections right. of little flaws are actually really perfect. You don't want it to look, oh, it's all blue. It's all gray. It's all white. You want variations okay. of different shades of it. Okay. That make it all a masterpiece. <laughs> that looks a little better. Yes. I gotta stick my tongue out when I do it. All right. How are we guys? Is everybody kind of at this level now? At the level or just at that point? <laughs> <laughs> repainted yes i have the paint on my canvas to that point we're not at your level <laughs> okay not here yet no problem that's okay though while you guys are doing that i'm going to clean up my mess i make here <laughs> um <laughs> And like I say, don't have to slave too hard over the sky and the water. Um, when we're putting our mountain in, it's going to cover quite a bit oh, of it. Oh, oh, okay. I was trying to copy kind of your idea there, but that helps. Yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah, you can do the, the clouds will be all kind of still showing there. That's why I kind of only did the top part of it. Because we're going to have a mountain range that's going to come in here. And then we're going to have more trees coming down here. And then at the end of it, like a little piece of island with some big trees coming up. So it'll cover the outsides and push everything kind of back. So this is all kind of background stuff we're working on now. Oh, someone's got a kitty. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. All 
All right, you guys ready to see how we do mountains? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everyone good? Okay. So what we want to do, you have, you have your phthalo blue and you have black. You want to add some alizarin crimson to it. So that's your red color. So I just want to add just about the same amount that you would have there. And, and I'll show you what we do with this. You take the three colors, so you got your blue, your red, and your black, and you just mush them together like this. So you blue and the black and mush them together? Oh, and red. red one? Yeah, I'm sorry. That's Elizabeth and Chris Crimson. Okay. And see, I've got, and, and blue's really strong, so you probably want more black and red. See, this one here is pretty blue, so I'm going to add a little bit more black to it. Bright red. Well, okay, hold on. Oh, cardamom. Cardamom. It's called red? Elizabeth and Chris Crimson. Can you oh, see that? Yeah, I got this one off your list. Is it Elizabeth and Chris Crimson? I think it's called Chris Crimson. Red. Crimson. And then bright red. Yeah, it, it crimson is the color you want. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. And then the black and the blue, and you mix it all together. You just take your knife and you mush it all together. Oh, okay. See what so I'm I doing here? You, you put it underneath and lift it and squish it all together. I gotta take the white off first, right? Uh, you want to clean your knife off, yes. Yes, okay. I don't think I have so you, enough paint. Yeah, you want you want to add like probably equal amount. So if you do like a like a quarter inch of or a little glob of black, you want to do the same with your blue and your red, kind of equal parts. I had more blue left than I did red, so I added more yeah. black. I, I did too. I got to add more red and black now. I'm just going with it. I like a recipe. Yeah, and then <laughs> once you're done with it all, you just take a pile of it, and same as what we did before, you just want to spread it out like that. See what I'm doing with that? So mix it and then spread it out? Yeah, so you, and by mixing, you just flip it around and squish it together. And then when okay. you're done, you just want, you want to have it like that. I'll be going forever trying to get the right. <laughs> I'll just see, so you can see what there. And then you want to clean your knife when you're done that. And I'll show you what we do after that. Ah, how'd I get white on there? Oh well. And you probably want to clean your fingers. <laughs> clean your fingers, clean your hands. I'm getting gets everywhere. Well, and I'm see, usually when, I, usually when I do this, I, I'm not really used to teaching. I, I've done it with a few people and they're here with me. I can go on their camps. So I'll do this a little different. So hopefully you guys can all understand what I'm doing and we can make this kind of cool and work. But thanks for being my test, test dummies. I guess. This is fun. <laughs> I'm the biggest yeah, dummy I'm after black. my test. Yeah, we're having fun. My oh, mountains good. may be a lot black, but that's okay. okay. But let's do it tonight yeah. once we get it all uh, spread or mixed. I'm sorry. What's that? Sorry. Okay, so I got it all mixed. What do I do now? Okay, so we have a clean knife. Everybody's got that. Oh, and wait, what you, okay, and see if you can see this really carefully. So you got the clean knife. Actually, you know what? I'm going to get a bigger knife just so you can see it a little bit better. What you want to do is go right across it so that you get a little bit of a, can you see that on my knife? Yeah, I see yeah. the edge. Okay, so you're kind yeah, of you going get, up, not you just down. Go right, yeah, just mm -hmm. go right across it or down either way. So then go okay. down with it too, just to get that edge. Give me that little angle of an edge. Yeah. And then once you have this, you flick it at your friend. No. <laughs> <laughs> So and see what I'm doing with this now. So I've got this, and I'm gonna make a point to the mountain. So you just press it on and just scrape it in and bring it down and up, and however you want to bring it in. So that's how you make your peaks, and then you can scrape it out. Um, sorry, Stephen. Can you do that left-handed, please? Left-handed. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Um, I got it. I'll just have to go. Oh, See, left, here's left-handed. You would just be on the other side of the of the knife and you push it across like that and you'd still have your okay. edge. So this right, is left. 
I got it. I, I'll, I'll figure it out. Just don't judge. No, I'm all right. It's good. And then what you do is you just do it however you like your mountains to look. You just scrape it up and then bring them down. Bring it in. And then you could use your knife to scrape it down. So if you can hear what I'm doing, I'm see how I'm scraping that. You, you won't hurt the canvas. Stephen, your head is a little bit uh, blocked. Sorry. There we go. Can you see how I'm doing that? Then you can go up to the other side and go a higher or lower, however you want it, and press down. No, you have to do that. The air yeah, that then, then you want, what you're worried about is not what's going on down there. It's just yeah. this. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so, so you, just, you don't have to push it up. You just go whichever angle you want to do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Did, you, did you guys hear what I said with the top edge? Don't worry about underneath here. It's just where, where the top edge is going to be where you want that. So yeah. I'm going to bring that and then just bring it down. Because this, this is the edge that I'm worried about is what is going here. Because we're going to blend all this out underneath here. So this stuff won't matter at all. But for what we're doing right now, you just want to see however you want to do it. <sighs> Is that laugh at myself? <laughs> Was that a good laugh? <laughs> yeah, I'm just laughing at myself. I'm kind of going, I don't think I'm doing it right, but I don't think I am either. Don't think I am either. <laughs> Yours looks right. like a real mountain. Mine kind of looks like <laughs> my kindergartners did it. Oh, oh, that's good. Okay, wait. Because when you have a mouth. You know what though? I've been painting for eight years. That's why it looks different. You should have seen my first one. It looked like a ten-year-old did it. So, <laughs> oh, I said kindergarten. That's a five-year-old. I'm in the five-year-old. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, basically for this step, you just you're trying to make that top edge, and you see how my top edge looks. It'll push the sky kind of back a little bit because it's a dark mountain, right? Yeah, see how you're coming out. Yeah, and then. And what you want to do is you just want to scrape down with your knife, try to get rid of as much of this paint as you can. Here, can I see what edge you're using? I'm sorry. Just, I'm just edge using the edge and I'm just scraping it down. Say, so go to my, my leg and just push it in. From the top down? Yeah. From the top down, yes. Down here. Oh, no, 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 no. And you won't the cap, but just don't stab it, but you can pull it down. Okay, I, I what did I do? <laughs> Where's your <laughs> okay? I gotta show you mine. <laughs> yeah, that, that looks perfect. That uh, looks great. I wish yeah, mine looked like that. Yeah, nothing wrong with that at all. Okay, so I just need to keep pulling it down then, I guess? Yeah, you, yeah, just keep scraping. So you want to try to get rid of as much of this paint as you can and still keep oh. that top edge. Oh, okay, that I'm makes just, sense. Yeah, because I'm scraping that down. So I'll show you the next step really quick what we're going to do. Mine has more red too. I kind of like mine though, it's red. Mine has more black. So yeah, I like it. <laughs> yeah, that looks really good. You've got that depth like you're coming out of it, like it's coming out of this. How did you take that side over there? How'd you do the one on the right? The right side. But on that side? Yeah, on that side. Mine looks funny on that side. Well, see, you can use your knife in different positions. So if it's if you want to scrape it this way, you can also turn it and do it the other way. And you can use this little part here too. Oh. So you can just you can edge wherever you want to edge it. And then, and see so you scrape it. That's okay if you have lines, because what we're going to do next, I'll show you really quick. I'm going to take this brush. I'm going to pull it down. So it doesn't matter. That's why we want to get rid of some of that paint. You just want to go up to the edge and just pull it down into here. See how it's getting kind of lighter? That's it. The one inch brush? Yeah. Yes, the one inch brush. Or two inch. You can use a two inch with it as well. But you want to try to get the edge and just pull it down 
And you can kind of shape your mountains that way too. See, I'm having everything kind of go this way. I can bring it here and I'm bringing it down, bringing it down. Okay. Going this way again, because I'm bringing it out to the edge. Good. Oh my word. There's a lot of paint on here. I made bigger strokes than I wanted. So, so that's why you scrape as much of it off as you can with, with this first. But then you can just, but don't worry about it. If you can always still go back into it. So if I had too much here, I just go push it off. Right? It doesn't matter. I'm going to go back with the brush. Have you taste it for free? I got to clean my brush. Yes. Yeah, which did you have a white brush before? It had blue and white on it, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, you want you want to clean your brush in between. I'm sorry, I should have said uh -oh. that. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, that you're fine. <laughs> and like I said, you can always scrape it off. Like if it's blue and white, just kind of run your you just scrape it right down again. Grab my paper towel. Mine looks kind of like a wig. <laughs> I'm gonna make artists out of everybody, today. Yeah. <laughs> including me with my mess. Okay, so now I. And then you just pull it down, and you can see how it kind of gets lighter at the bottom part. I wonder if I got too much paint on there still. Mine is not getting lighter at the bottom. That's still okay, because what we're going to do when we get to the bottom part is going to do this, just tapping it. And that'll make it all faded at the bottom. So like, once you get it pulled down, we're doing this so that it brings just, it, it'll, it brings up the bottom so that it looks more um, fog. And then we'll put some, some snow up on the mountains too. So this is what we do later on is we're going to be tapping up the bottom. So don't worry about that right now. But if it's too much paint, so just scrape it off because this is where we're going to go eventually with it. So it looks foggy at the very bottom of it. Does that makes sense. Yeah. You see, I'm just pulling it all out. And you can kind of shape how you want your, see how you bring it down. Give it with a brush over there. But I don't like this one. Yeah. I'm going to get it. the right paint, but I'm going to choose it as we're trying to keep the paint or brushes. And it's a good idea to clean your brushes in between steps. So, and I should, I'm sorry, I, I got to work on my teaching skills too, but I, I'm just trying to show you this is the move where we get next. And then once we're all here, I'll show you how to put snow in it. But eventually we're going to fog out the bottom. So it looks like there's fog around the mountains. And we do that with a one inch brush and white paint and you just dab the bottom of it and it'll bring it all puffy. So that's, that's kind of the next move. So don't worry too much about how this bottom looks right now. Okay. It's just the top edge is what we're kind of worried about right this. <laughs> Yeah, I'll let you use it too. And another trick to you guys, if you want, if you don't like, if it's too hard to make your edges with a knife, you can just take a little filbert brush and you could add your own little bumps. So you can go up with it. Oh, okay. So if it's a little easier to do with a brush, you can do that as well. But the knife, it seems to work the best, but you can see, you can go in here with a brush and you can kind of just touch up your little corners if that's what you want to do. If it's a little easier than the knife. Your head is again in front of the camera. Oh, my head was there. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah with a knife or with a with a brush, if you want to touch up your edges, you can go in here. See, I can add a peak. I can make this a little bit longer right there if I wanted to. I can make this a little sharper. There's more than one way to do it, but you can see how I angled and pulled everything down this way. You guys see my lines coming down? And that's basically just taking this brush, going up to the edge of that and just pulling it down. And then on this side, I'm going out to the end of the canvas because that's kind of the edge of the, 
<laughs> well, that's why mine looks silly because I didn't. Mine isn't. Mine doesn't go across the whole thing. My mountains. I don't have as big of a range as you. I have it kind of in oh. the middle. Well, see, you can pull it out. So just take it and bring your brush and pull it out like this, and that'll bring it out. Because see, my mountains are only this Mine's big. Mine's really far away. Mine's like four inches on each side away. I guess I have to add some more. Well, yeah, and see if you wanted to, like say, you just do a little brush. So I'm gonna make another mountain right here. I just added a little hump and I pull it out. So now you got another little. So you can use a brush too if it, if the knife's getting to be too okay. hard. Yeah, we'll see what if I can do. See, you can still, still do that with that if you'd like to. And then you, you do want to keep this pile of blue and black and red that we made. But if you really know the room, you just kind of scrape it into a pile and just have it over here. So I'm going to keep that right because we're going to have some trees up here that we can add some green to it and make it work. So I know paint is expensive. <laughs> Almost got the one side. Could I take a look at your guys, see what you guys are doing? Oh, yeah. That, is it hard to turn your easel around? Well, I'm already covered in paint. Mine's pathetic okay. and looks nothing like what you could have. That? Oh, that's, no, that's Can looking good, you guys. Right on. I'm going to move my. My <laughs> rather than my easel, my easel's a little hard to move. Wow, you, you guys are, are doing them. No, you're fine. Wait, where is it? Yeah, that, see, that I'm, I need, I just don't have to fill in on this side. I don't have enough mountains. <laughs> yeah, you can just add a little bit more on that side. Um, looks good. I, I dabbed the other side and kind of caught up a little bit, but considering I'm not really a visual person. <laughs> you guys, those are looking. Really great. The clouds in the sky look really nice. I'm, I'm impressed. Looks good. I'm just going to clean my brushes really quick. We'll finish up, you guys, if that's okay. Yeah, I'm going to do the same thing. I have a brush cleaning break. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> And then when you clean your brush, you just bring it through the thing and you just want to take a paper towel and just kind of work it through it. Okay. Like on your like fan brush and your one inch brush and your two inch brush. I think I'm breaking all the rules when you're not looking. <laughs> like There's no rules at all. Let me just see if I can make it look like a mountain. And then we'll get a lot of good I don't like rules either. Luckily, I'm wearing pants today. No. <laughs> <laughs> These are highly overrated. <laughs> are we putting snow on these peaks? Oh, oops. <laughs> a little bit of a mess. All good. <laughs> it wouldn't be as fun if we didn't make a mess, right? <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Clean the brushes. And see, here's a beater box that I have also. Like, I don't know if you can see this okay. In my garbage can. Oh my goodness. I wish I, I had one. <laughs> I got a big garbage can. I could take them like this and just beat the devil out of it. Yeah, I can't do that right now. <laughs> but, no, but that little beater box is good too. But this is for, you know, like lots of, uh, there's different ones you can get, but that's just another version of it. But I just dry them off. What do, when, we're, when we're done tonight, what do we do with the, the paint thinner we use? Um, do you know what? I just keep mine in and I keep using it until it runs off. Okay. So 
um, I don't know where a good place to dump it is. Like, I think if you leave it outside, eventually it'll evaporate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just what they use for paint. Like it's, that's what it does. But I just keep mine in the bucket and I keep using it. But if I keep the lid off, eventually it evaporates. Right, right. But you don't want to keep it in a closed room. If, if you have the lid off, take it outside. Just because the paint thinner is not the best stuff to be Mess. Oh my God. around. So, okay. How's, how's Bettina doing? there you awake still <laughs> yeah i am <laughs> i'm watching <laughs> is timmy still painting a front row, a front row view <laughs> <laughs> where's timmy at i'm here i'm covered in paint so i, oh, there I, you I are. think i'm doing okay <laughs> <class screen. laughs> nice how's yours looking timmy Oh, you're muted. Oh, not, yeah, not that good. So I'm not showing it yet. I'm oh, working okay. on it. I'm making progress. <laughs> okay. To me, mine looks like a first grader, so you can't be any worse than me. So you oh, guys really? ready? Yeah, I can. Kindergartner. I already claimed kindergarten spot. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Have to bring the mic right I have to water. switch the fingerprint soon. Okay, you guys ready to add snow now? Yep. Yes, if you're ready. Okay, you see how I made my angles? I kind of went down with the brush so I could kind of follow where I'm going. What okay. you want to do is into your white, same with your knife. You just oh, make a little, a little ledge on it again. Titanium right, white? Yes, titanium white. Yeah, okay. you don't want to use the liquid white because that'll just, it'll just totally run all over your, it's, it's a titanium white. Gotcha. And you just want to you just want to make a little edge. So this is a trickier part. So if you get this right away, you could be like a master. What you want to do is very lightly touch on it and then pull it down. But but very very lightly. You don't want to press hard. You just hold it on and you bring it down. Okay. How do you get it on the knife? Just the way we did the first yeah. time. Same okay. as when we made the mount. So you go across it like this. Okay. And then you have your little ledge again. I don't know if you can see the ledge, okay? Oh, see yeah. how I have? And then, I, and then I'm just putting it on the peak and I'm bringing it down. It and, I'm, and I'm trying to stay at the same angle that I made the mountains at so that it kind of follows that trajectory. But you, you don't have to press very hard with, with your knife. So just barely make a little line like on the edge here again, I'll show you. And just come into here and just very, very lightly bring it down. Oh, okay. I, I barely, see, I, I'm trying to get it as flat as I can and I'm just bringing it down. Wherever you think there should be snow. But what I'm trying to do with this is bringing it to the, the left side of the mountain because I want this side to be my shadow side. So does that make sense? Yes. So I'm bringing it down, bringing it down this way, and it's however you want it to, to fall. And don't be afraid to clean your brush in between if you want to, but you just basically, you're, you're pulling it out like this, and then you go across it so that you have a little, a little run on the end of it. And if you pull it down, it'll it'll break itself. You see how it kind of, but I have my I have paintbrushes. I have it as flat as I can to the to the canvas, and it just it falls off my brush. See, I'm barely touching it. I, I'm actually not really touching the knife. The paint is, and I'm just pulling the paint through it. Oh, that's pulling so it, cool. Pulling it down. It's so cool the way yours looks. Well, I'm sure yours looks awesome too. It's just technique. So again, it's kind of trick. Like I said, you, you're just putting a little ball on the end of it and you touch it to the canvas, but you're not, you're not scraping it. You're just letting the, letting the canvas take out it off of your, your knife. Where's the canvas take off of Yeah, see, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not sitting here scraping like we were before. I'm just, I, I put the paint down and I'm just dragging the paint down and it comes off the knife onto the canvas. So here, I'll do it again. So I got my little ball. Let's see, I put a little peek in here and the, I'm not even barely touching it, but the paint is on there. I'm just dragging it down. 
<laughs> How's it going? Is, is it, are you guys seeing what we're trying to do? I think so. It's just, just <laughs> I see what I'm trying to do, but I'm not doing what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Yeah, just, the, the trick is just to barely touch it, but I can see it as flat as I can get my, see this is as flat as I can get down on here. I'm just flat and I'm pushing it down, pushing it down, pushing it down. And, and the canvas takes the paint off of the blade. So it's not, I'm just trying to have a little bit of contact into the, there with it. And then just let the brush kind of, or the knife kind of bring it down. I think I was doing it wrong. I mean, I had the brush wrong or the knife wrong. Yeah, it's, you, you try to want to get it as flat as you can um, and, and just touch, just barely touch it and roll it down and it'll it'll come off of your knife. Like it'll, see, I've got this little ball. I'm just barely touching it and I'm bringing it down and it takes it off my, Clear as mud. <laughs> oh, clear. Well, some of the newer ones look better than the first one. I did, so yeah. I guess and do you know what? Just a little tip to what we're doing now. See all the dark, all the dark spots that I have on the mountain. Yeah. You see I that? Know. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of this blue, black, and red mixture that we had, and a little bit of white, and I'm going to mix it up so it's kind of like a gray color, see a gray blue? Do you see what I did there? You oh see yeah. That so I took some dark, took some white and I just kind of mixed it together. And that gives me a little bit kind of an off color, but then basically we're doing the same thing in the shadows. So I've got the shadow colors and I'm just touching and I'm bringing it down. Just wherever there's kind of like the dark color wow. and it's just, it's just a shadow color. So when the paint dries, it gives it a little bit more. Depth. Yeah, a little depth to it. And you see where I'm just kind of touching, but it's the same thing. I'm just making a little, little bubble. I don't know what you want to call it, bubble line, a little thing at the end of my knife, <laughs> whatever you want to call that thing. And then I'm just basically going and then the dark stuff and it's running it back down. Same as barely touching the canvas. And I'm just touching it in just certain spots, just because it'll give a bit more dimension to the, the paint. And don't worry about leaving some of the black or the darker blue because it still looks deeper shadows. It still makes it look good. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. I can tell. See if I need it was right. A little awkward to my end up. But also, too, don't be afraid to use the little part of your knife if you need to. See, I got that little, and if I want to get in this side, it's a little tight. I just. Same thing, I just bring it in and I bring it down. And just kind of where you think it would look good, that's all you have to do. And you don't have to put a lot of paint on it. Like I said, just get a little roll on the bottom. That's a, that's a word for it, a roll on the end of the knife. So it's just you cut through it and you have a little roll. That's what we'll call it, a roll. <laughs> you just bring it out. And then with your roll as flat as you can, just barely touching it, barely touching it. And you kind of want to go in with the same angle that you're putting it down. So it kind of matches, you know what I mean? I'm all right. <laughs> okay.
Yeah, what I'd like to do someday is take the Bob Ross certification thing. So if I actually do get better at teaching, I, I can explain things better instead of the thing he had. Great, the other What's that? Yeah, you're doing great. Am I? Thank yeah, you guys. You are. It's for me, it's a little easier if I had somebody in here to, I can go, oh, look, I can see it, but I can't really see what you guys are doing. So. Um, oh, you don't want to see. It's not your explanation. <laughs> Definitely I'm sure it'll see mine. <laughs> you probably look at mine and go, I told you to do that. I'm just saying, I know why Picasso painted the way he did. Well, I know I'm no Picasso. From what I've seen, if you're, your stuff looked really good. All of yours is looking really good. So you're doing great. It makes me proud of you. I'm really excited that you guys uh, can understand what I'm trying to show you. So now I've got to get that. What we're doing just taking the white, taking the mixture and some white into it. Yeah. That bullshit stuff to the side. Oh, God. Exactly. <laughs> <Was that>? Sorry. <laughs> I forget to breathe. I do. I forget to breathe. Oh, well. yeah, just you know what just relax sometimes it helps to have like a glass of wine or something maybe doing this that's why they have those painted wine deals you ever seen those yeah I should have done that. but they do it in acrylic oil painting is more difficult than acrylic is acrylic dries super quickly and it, it's it, oil takes a little time it's a little harder to play with but you can move colors around really awesome with this kind of stuff so with oil compared to acrylic yeah, this is my first time with oil. It's your first time with oil? Yeah, yes. Mine too. Oh, what do you guys think of it? It's it's kind I of fun. I love it. <laughs> kind of fun. I just how my grandmother did what she did, my aunt, because I don't get it. It's so. Well, from what I've seen, everybody's is looking really great so far. So honestly, just wait till we add more trees. Trees are like the great forgiver. Like you could put trees over any part that you don't like and you won't ever see it. And it's like, oh, that looks nice. Yeah. Should have seen the mess I had underneath it. <laughs> so don't worry about it. Just have fun and just it, it's it that's the whole thing. We're having fun, right? That's not it doesn't yeah. And then it, and if you like to do this, you can just keep practicing and you can watch other videos online and and uh, if if everything looks okay and you guys want to do more of this, I'll do this more. Oh, definitely. Oh, absolutely. It's like, no, I don't want to be up at two in the morning. It's fun. As long as you don't have to look at my picture. Are you yeah. painting? I'm painting. Are you? Uh, oh, I'm doing something. Let's not oh. specify it. I'm going to pretend I did it at two in the morning, but it's not. <laughs> so what you guys want to do, like if if for a head or if everybody's kind of done this, or I'll show you the next step. Make sure that you have your one inch brush or two inch you could use as well. And just make sure it's really dry. Like just take a rag and dry it out really good. And this is what I do. So I bring up just a little bit, just because it helps kind of get some white into the bottom. See what I'm doing there? And then I just, I tap. Because that's where I want the fog to be. And you just tap. And if you have some dry spots, you can take some white, like just normal titanium white, and just add it to your brush. And then just, hey. you see what Does I mean? Like yet? Huh? Does it look in, like anything yet? That's like a man. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Can you touch my light? Yes. I'm doing that. What? I can bring you down a ring light. It's like absolutely beautiful lighting. Yeah, I'll be right back. Thanks, hon. I gotta get some fatter brushes. Where do you find fatter brushes? Um, you, you can get a little bit better ones. Like Bob Ross stuff is really good, but if you go, um. Even at Michael's, they have different ones. You can just ask him what the more professional 
have, but even if you go to eBay or Amazon, Bob Ross brushes are pretty good. Like these ones last a lot longer, but you want to make sure you clean them really good and you take care of them because they're pretty expensive. But they are, they're thicker and better. Some of the cheaper ones, you'll get bristles on your paint and all the other stuff. But does everybody kind of see though what how I'm doing the just tapping the bottom here? You see how it kind of creates that fog layer? And it sounds amazing too. <laughs> <laughs> And then see, I got more white in here. I'm just gonna go across, it doesn't matter. And once you've done tapping, if you wanted to, you can also just kind of do little twirls through it too. That helps make it look a little bit foggier. Just kind of go up the bottom of your mountain a little bit. That just gives the impression that there's fog underneath it and it's kind of pushing it back a little bit. We're going to put trees right over here anyway. So we just want it to look like there's fog kind of floating around in there somewhere. Does that make sense or is it foggy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. My, joke, my jokes aren't good. You I got dead jokes. Oh, You're very funny I today. Jokes. I got a really bad joke for you guys. <laughs> what do okay. mermaids wash their fins with? Uh, <laughs> Tide. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I I that. Isn't that, that a terrible dad joke? <laughs> I was expecting that from Paul, not you. Whoa. Oh no, we're, we're, we're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. No, I'm really glad that we're doing this, you guys. I've always wanted to try this, and it's fun for me. So I appreciate it. Mean, and the but best thing is that I have to go to work tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. Yep, I'm on vacation. Yeah, long weekend. Do you guys have long weekends, Matina, this weekend too, or no? In Europe? No, no, no. Fourth of July. Is not met, doesn't celebrate the Fourth of July like we do. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be in Florida on the Fourth of July. Oh, how fun! Party. Yay. I might have my hands clean by the 4th of July. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to a wedding, so I better not show up with blue hands. <laughs> Actually, I, I go sit in the pool afterwards, and then it's like all the chlorine takes it away. <laughs> That's not helpful Actually, for me. It works so amazing. They actually really do work. I was just kidding about that, but you can get in there and clean it up. So, um, is everybody pretty close to where we're at now? Or do you want me to wait a little bit longer? Or do you want me to show you the next step and yet we can kind of work on it? I'm always a couple steps behind, so you can go ahead and go. Okay, it's, the next step's really super easy. Um, <laughs> everybody find sap green. We want sap green and a little bit of black. So I would say two parts green and half of that black. So I'll show you. Um, I'm running out of space here too, but I'm just going to put about that much green. I don't know if you can see that, maybe an inch, a little squirt. And then I'm going to get a little bit of black. And I'm just going to do probably about half of that. See, like I did just a little line, just half the amount. So you want two portions of green to one black. Are we mixing those together? Yes. Okay. And what you want to do is just kind of, and don't worry if some of this blue gets in here, because the blue and the green and the black will give us a nice dark green color. So can you guys kind of see the green I got here? Yes. Okay, so that's that's sap green and a little bit of black mixed together. And you can also what put we, like a What are we using for oh, the knife? Okay. Yeah, I'm just using a knife and I'm smushing it together, mixing it. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's just sap green and a little bit of black. So 
two portions of green and then half black and then that gets you that dark kind of a green color. If you can see that. Well, this looks like black. <laughs> okay, if it looks too black, add a little bit more green to it. Because we want we want a dark green color, not too black. But a way to tell also is you can see what, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make some trees that are just gonna go across here, just all randomly up and down through here. So we're making like a tree line. Mm -hmm. And the way that we're gonna do that is with your green is you just kind of go through, see how I'm soaking it up here. You can push it in a little bit like this. You just, and pull it back out. You just want to basically try to fill both sides of the brush. So everybody can see that okay? Yeah. And what, oh, what you sorry. want to do is, do, do you want me to do that again? Yes, please, I'm sorry. No problem. You, you just have your pile of green and you're just pushing it in on okay. both sides and you push it back. So you're trying to, you're trying to load your brush. Perfect brush with paint and you want both sides kind of filled up with it okay okay and then you want your your trees so what we're going to do is i'll show you we're stabbing down see how i got when you do that how the trees come in oh yeah and then you could turn it around and you just put them randomly wherever across here if you want and then see after a while you just go back in here load up your brush again and don't worry, you can start in different colors. You can bring them, you don't wanna bring them too high up the mountain, but we're trying to, and don't worry about the bottoms. We're, we're worried more about what the tops look like. So you see if it, you push down with it, how it gives you the little tree. You see that on the top here, it looks like we got trees. Yeah. And, and see, I'm here I am again, I'm filling up my brush, just filling it up, filling it up. And it's the filbert, or sorry, it's the, the fan brush again. And then yeah, you just- fan brush is too skinny. And we're just going through. <laughs> and like I said, don't worry about how the bottoms look right now because I'll show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring these trees, we're gonna push them down into the water so it looks like a bit of a reflection. So, and I'm thinking we just go all the way across here. Like, and, and just start in different, and if you have different blacks and stuff and different colors on your palette, you can do that because you want them to look, see some are darker some are lighter, but again, we're, we're just worried about making it look like there's a ton of trees up in here. You see, and just by stabbing down like that, and if I, it gets too much, and then if I get, starts to get dry, and then I can go back over here where it's a little bit lighter, put some darker ones. So there's no real order to it, and it's all just random, however you want to put them in there. You said like a quarter inch of green, and Half of the black, a half inch of green. More green than black. Oops, <laughs> I just hit the camera with my head. All right. Dave, move a little bit, please. What's that? Can you Is move that a little bit, please? Because you were covering um, half of the painting. Is that better? Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, oh, sorry, I hit it with my head when I was. I just pushed my hand down very quietly. <laughs> but do you see the different variations of how the up and down and the different colors? It looks like his. You could use the bare essence. Of I the see thing. that on yours, not on mine. No. <laughs> Like you say, it's, it's just the technique. So you just take your brush and you just put, you want to fill it up and then you're, you're kind of stabbing down. So it's like, do, do you see that? Okay. See, the way you do it, it's really good. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just, I'm just filling it up and then it's just straight in and just, And then if it gets too much, you put a little bit more. I need that more paint. Yeah, don't be afraid to use the paint on the trees because they 
that'll give your different colors. Your, and see, if you look at, if you do it right, it'll look like you got a whole ton of trees there and it's really not, didn't take us that long at all to make them. And we're gonna need to use more of the green. So don't worry about making too much green because we're gonna have them. Have we're gonna, we're gonna make some paint on my hands. Oh, is it more on your hands than on the? <laughs> I look like a smurf. We'll get there when we get there. No. <laughs> well, do you know what? I'll show you. I'll show you guys the next technique. I got the two-inch brush, and once you have all your trees in, you just you're, we're basically gonna make a shoreline. So we're just gonna take it and pull it down. Oh, to give that reflection? Yes. And just You just bring it straight down. So you bring it in wherever you want your line to be and bring her down. It was a sad thing that the fire ran through. <laughs> oh, I think that's the best part I've done all night. Yeah, and then once it's clear or clean, you just wanna take the brush, kind of clean it off or get another clean brush and just very lightly go across you have your light, light. Okay, so down and then across. Oh. Yeah, so you, you just you bring it down, um, and then yeah. and then very lightly across it, so that it gives that reflection of uh, of the water. So if you can okay. see, you can kind of see where I have my shoreline. So I, the next move I'm going to do once we have that in is it's I'm just going to take my knife, make another little mm. booger on the end like I did before. And I'm just going to go right across where I put the line. Okay, and then clean the brush and then go sideways. Okay, I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Yeah. Clean the brush. I'm, I'm just showing you guys where. So then you just take wherever you put your line and you just be putting with your knife, you just run a line in here and that's going to be your shoreline. Yeah. Titanium white again? Yeah, take white again. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes, it'll always be titanium. Yes. Except when you first start. Okay. Yeah. Remember, the liquid, at least it will cover up the blue on my hands. <laughs> yeah. The, right. liquid white, the liquid white, we use it for making it so that we can move the colors around and blend them on, on there, like for making our skies, for making our water. But any of the normal, like the snow, that's titanium white. Any of the ripples. So if you want to make a little ripple across here, you can. You know, it, this is just our shoreline where we're putting it in. So you just basically take your knife, same like we did with the mountain snow. You make a little ball on it, then you just touch it and then bring it across. Ball on the top of the knife or the bottom? Um, Just just like you cut it across, the same way as you okay. did with the snow. Just so see how I did that? Just so that you yeah. have a little booger on the end there, like a line or a roll of it. And then you right. just touch it. So yeah, then you just oh, touch okay. it. Okay, don't matter what side it's on. Okay. No, it doesn't matter. And you just bring it across, and that'll be your shoreline. You see how I made that shoreline? And mine is the horses. I got waves on one side. <laughs> That's okay. I'm not showing this to anyone. <laughs> yeah, it's just. You, yeah, you just go. I'm not either to me. <laughs> You just do it as horizontal as you can. Doesn't matter. Okay. And which brush did you pull down with? The fan or the one inch? Uh, the two inch or the one inch. And you just okay. pull it down. Just bring it as straight down as you can. And then just go across it. And the only okay. reason I did that is so that you guys could see where I'm. You see, so once you do your water line, then you just put the water line across it. And that will make it look like you got your trees and then your reflection coming below that. Okay. So, do you want me to show you guys the next step of what we're going to do? Sure. Yeah, sure. I did the same thing. We're going to put two, two or three trees on each side here, and that'll bring this in and push that back a little bit more. And the way that we do that with the same fan brush is you're going through the green again, right? So you want to fill this up, and I'm just going to come down, make a little line of where I want that to go. I'll do that on this side here too. Sorry that my phone's in the way a bit. Let's see, I'm gonna make this a pretty big one. And let's have another Size one right. Does matter. It doesn't really matter. Um, you, we're gonna make these pretty big. 
because I'm gonna have, we're gonna have like just a little bunch, a little bit of land coming across here and here. And then these trees are here to kind of push that all in and bring it back. So I just kind of, just to mark out where I wanna put them, like I, you just start off, you just kind of make a line. What color was that again, Stephen? This is the same green that we used on the back there. Like the green and the little bit of black mixture. And see how I'm pushing into the brush here? They must all have paint. Yeah. Okay. So once once we have cut, I'm going to put another cup here. I just want to show you guys. I'm taking my, my fan brush. See how I've loaded it up? I've got lots. I'm going to get some more paint here in a bit. But I've loaded up both sides of it. I'm going to go on the corner. See how my corner, I hope you can see that. I'm just going to touch. Just touch across it. And as I go down, I push a little bit harder on the brush and see how it, it pops out. And next thing you know, you got a tree sitting here. And as you get near the bottom, I'm pushing really hard on my brush. There, and I just made a pine tree. I'll show you guys again on the other side. See, see how I got the corner? Just touch it. And you see how it, the brush kind of makes it look Do you need a little more paint, maybe? No, I'm always behind it. Yeah, don't be afraid to use a lot of paint with us. And don't worry about going over what we did behind that because it's going to be covered anyway. I need to make some more paint here too. Just a sec. Okay. I'm still trying to. Oh, isn't that cute? Not... That is... Yeah, I do too, Brad. He's, he's got a gift. Oh, it is. Because he could do this in an hour. Uh, but, you know, I think it's so neat that he's teaching these. Yeah. Exactly. All over the world. All over the world. Yeah. Is it? Me. Well, there's 10 or 11 of them, so I don't know where they're all from. Mom, we can hear you. Oh, <laughs> how many? Uh, uh, how many countries are? Uh, trees over there. That's all right. I mean, not the tree trees. I mean, the inner reflection. Oh, he, what I was your question, reflection. friend? How many countries are 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 watching Stephen? There's Germany, England, America, US. America, Canada. No, only Canadians. No Canadians. Eh? Yeah. All mm -hmm. the different coasts. Yeah. That oh. Okay. Then that is next. so me. Did I give you your we're Canadian, but we're not Do you guys okay. said make the trees, the spruce trees? Yeah, I'm making a tree like something. Yeah, and you just you just <laughs> shape it however. You can make it a big green blob. And it can go off the canvas too. It doesn't matter. Like because in nature they all look different and different things too, right? I'm gonna make one. He was still doing it. So, Stephen, are you going through yeah. the shoreline, or are you, are you are yeah. coming back to the shoreline? No, I'm going, going right through it. You're going right through it. Okay. Going right through it. See, I'll show you this one. I'm bringing down here. I'm just gonna go. Just gonna add it right. I'm going through my mountain too. I'm going right over everything. See, I went right over the shoreline. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It's just going like this. See, I'll make another one here so you guys can yes, see. Yeah. see <laughs> make a straight line down. So you got it. Did you remember my mom? <laughs> I know. See, you just touch the corner. Go back and forth, just make a little. Trees. It just created four big spruce trees that are hundred years old in two minutes. <laughs> Easy peasy. See, I'll make another That's one. Magic here. touch. Okay, are you guys seeing how I'm doing the angle? So I've, I've got my brush and I'm on the corner and I'm touching. See, so just touch across it and see how it cuts it. 
And as you get further down, it gets a little bit wider. That's all you got to worry about. And if you go over the waterline, that's okay. Cause we're going to come back and highlight this a little bit too, just to give it some, I'm going to put some yellow in there and then we're going back over some of them to make it pop. That's called the highlight color. So. It was the green and black, right? Yes. Sure. And if you want, you can add, if you have little spaces, you can add a couple little, just so it looks like there's more trees in there. And they're more pink. Want them, not black. <laughs> is, is everybody understanding the technique on how to, how to make the spruce trees okay? I am, I'm just way behind. Oh, that's okay. Nothing new here, nothing new to see here. But you do see how I, how you start it with the line and then you work your way with starting with the corner. Yeah. Okay. I just have uh, my fan brush is a little. Uh, yeah, mine is not quite higher. everything either. Any. Yeah, and do you know what? If, if it finally gets too gummy, you could stick a little bit of clear in it um, and then just kind of wipe it out and then remix it again. And the lighter paint, so thinner paint will stick better than the dark stuff. So when we do our highlights, I'm gonna get yellow and I'm gonna put a little touch of like the liquid, liquid white with it or just a touch thinner. And then that will stick on this darker, heavier green. So that'll, so your colors will still come out. Do you see what I mean? So a lighter paint will stick to the heavier paint. So if you add, the liquid white or thinner to it, it'll come off your brush easier. And it'll, but we're just trying to make oops, dark colors back in here so that we can put highlights on it afterwards. So, and in fact, if you guys wanted to with the same brush or with the one inch, we can just kind of make some land just in here. You can have it come right across if you want to. With the same brush? Yeah, with the same brush. So I'm still using that. Okay. And you just, oh, I see. See how I'm just putting it in here? We just want, we I just kind of. I got too much water, so I can't. You got too much water? Yeah, I have like, like a whole bunch. Like, where's your water at? My water's huge. It's like one third of the painting on the bottom is all water. <laughs> yeah, I, I got the opposite problem. Well, see, you can add more trees. <laughs> You can add more trees and bring it down up here, or you can still you can build it. see how I'm building this land up. You can build up your land here, and that would push that back. So if your water's too high, you can add here, or you can add more land mass here, and that'll bring it back. I'm gonna take more just the bright green and just go. Do you know what? Could I see your painting? Let me take a look at it. Let me see. Let me flip you over here. Let's see where's. Who was if, I, if I just flip my my thing, see, I've got all that water on the bottom. Okay, yeah, that's okay. Um, so I added you, a little. You could add more trees underneath your mountains, so you can make that a whole bunch more bushes. So you can do the stabbing down and make mm -hmm. a lot of like layers of trees. Oh, layers of trees. Okay. See, like so, in here where you have all that space, just yeah. add yes. add some layers and then tap yeah. off the add more. It. That would yeah. build it up so it looks like climbing up a mountain. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you could totally add more trees in there and then that would bring that down. And if you have too much water this way, you can just add more land this way and that'll shrink it down a little bit. Yeah, I'm kind of adding so, some on the bottom right right now. It's yeah, so all you need to do is just add more trees in the middle. And then, so your mountains are up a little bit higher, but just add more layers. So what you could do, you know how we tapped out the bottom of the mountain? Uh -huh. Wow, that's really nice. Cindy, that looks great. Thank so, you. Oh, that so, looks good. Yeah, that's amazing. Cindy, can you um, come paint mine? <laughs> he's, he's at least in okay. second grade. I'm definitely not showing mine now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, same here. Oh, no, you guys, they're all looking great. I'll show yeah. mine. I have all look amazing. This is the first time. You guys should see my first one. It was hideous. But I was watching it off TV, and I pause it, try to rewind it, go back, and it, it was brutal trying by myself fun with the group so we can all laugh at each other so but i would say with those you could just add a little bit more bushes back in there and that would 
that would bring that gap of water. You just made your mountain too far back. That's not a big deal. Like I said, just add more trees. Trees are the big forgiver eraser. So you have a problem, you just put a tree in front of it. That's what, <laughs> that's what I've done. I love that. Happy little trees. <laughs> yeah. No mistakes, only happy accidents. That's what Bob said, right? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> but, and see, you guys, if you wanted to, you could use your one inch brush. See, I just used that, the, the fan brush that I have, fan brush. So, but you can use your, your other brush here too. And see how I added a little bit of green, that light green color with the white? Okay. Just go back, I just go back in here and just add some little different dimensions of it. And that gives a little bit of depth to the grass, makes it look like there's little kind of layers in it. You see how I did that? Yes. Just on my one inch, and I'm just touching them, putting them wherever. Uh, who's calling? Hello? Okay. Come on, Come on, happy little tree. You can do it. And then on the same thing, you can see how I've just made the different grass. I don't know if you can see that good on there, but that just adds a little textures and you just basically touch and you can lift up on you. That'll make it look like grass. <clears throat> can you guys see what I'm doing with that? Uh, not that far. I can't stop laughing at mine. <laughs> Okay, I gotta look closer. I'm on my phone, so. I'm really mad at Bob Ross. He <laughs> it look so easy. Rod. <laughs> well, that, that's the skill of it all. <laughs> but you know what? If you practice at anything, the better you get. Like, I can't play music, but look at my brother. He plays on his guitar. He can do anything. Like, same deal. It's just the more you practice anything, you get better at it, right? So don't ever right. be just like when I first started out, sometimes I'm like, oh, it looks terrible. But then you get something, oh, that mountain looks really cool, or my sky looks really cool, or maybe one good tree. And, and you just keep practicing. And if you want to keep doing it, it's, it becomes fun and it's therapeutic because you're building. I'm having like, fun. This is great. You know? It is fun. So awesome. Now I know why they call it wine and design with a bottle of wine when you paint. <laughs> okay. <laughs> definitely help me out. Yeah, don't, don't care it dry. whether it's a crooked tree or not. You're kind of sideways too. But Here you know what? Don't worry about crooked trees because in, in nature, none of them are straight. Right. You know, you'll see I a tree that's, something. All, that's all over the place. You know what i'm going to show you guys really quick um how to do highlights too so we can all kind of work on different things here because i know we're getting late in germany and england um you just take your yellow um cadmium yellow or the other bright yellow that you have mm -hmm. and you could squirt it right on your green see how i did oh, that cool. okay pretty green left now that i got my paint settled right on the green if I can find my liquid white, I'm just going to take a little, little dab of liquid white. Okay. Remember, look at this. You open up the thing, it gets all over your hands. <laughs> mm -hmm. And the reason I'm just adding just a little touch of it is, remember how I said that? Just a dab, a drop? <laughs> yeah, just a little drop of it. See, that's how much I have with my yellow, just a little bit. Okay. Look, see how it turns that color? Oh yeah. But it's it's still in the green and the yellow to give you a nice light green color. And you can mix it on your brush here, or if you wanted to, you can take take a knife and just kind of mix it through it. That's probably the best way to do it is with your knife, just so you got a good consistency. And you just push it out on your green. 
But you see the nice yellow color and it has a kind of a yellow with green color to it? Yes. See that? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight in the grass, up in the trees, but not very much. It's called a highlight just because oh, if you're really- knife. Okay. No, I'm just using the knife. You see, see on the knife on the corners here, on these okay. trees, touching the top, just to give it a little peak looking. See how I did that? Oh yeah. And that just gives it a little bit more realistic look to it. And then if you want, you can touch it in the middle just do a little scrape up that gives the indication of a trunk. You see how I'm doing that? It here's a little, there'd be like a little trunk showing through here maybe. There's a little tip there. Just kind of random, but you don't want to have it all lined out. You know, just even like in the background here, you put little- oh, like I did. <laughs> yeah, you just have little, little Over top it. And then even in here, you can scrape in like little, it's crazy. You can make little branches and grass pieces and, but you, we'll do that afterwards. I just want to get some paint off there because it's kind of a nice color. So I just was trying to clean my, you call that being a cheap painter, <laughs> not wasting any. <laughs> and then you go through baby wipes, so that makes up for your expense on the paint. We're almost done, you guys. I hope that everybody's kind of catching up to us. Is everybody comfortable at our speed that we're going? Yes, yeah, sure. Speed, yes. Skill, not so much. Oh, I'm sure they look beautiful. I, you show yeah. any of your, you might, when they draw and take a picture, it be, you really painted that? It's the ones that the you posted. Time, it's like the first time you ever painted it. It's, believe me, people are going to think you did amazing. Because mm -hmm. we're our worst critics. When art people, you look at them like, man, I could do that. It, honestly, we're our own worst critics. And everyone else is, wow, you did that. That looks so good. I didn't even think you could write your name, let alone paint. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start off clean. So we, the same fan brush, right? I'm just going to take the baby wipe. I'm just going to clean out the green because it got kind of gunky because you kind of want this to be a little bit lighter. You can touch it a little bit better. So we added the yellow to the liquid, the white together, right? Oh, wow. Just a second, got more in my hand, imagine. Okay, and you don't have to totally clean it. Doesn't matter if there's green because there's green that's gonna get on here anyway. Yeah. Right, so I'm just kind of cleaning that out a little bit. In the same way that we made the edge, I'm just gonna push up into it and kind of wiggle it in. So see how I've got yellow one here now? And then I'm just gonna to touch it in a few spots. We're thinking that the sun's kind of maybe coming this way. So more on the left side of the tree, you just kind of figure out where you would like to have kind of some highlights and you just, Put a little bit on the corner, like I said, I'm pushing my brush into it like this, and I'm just touching on the tree. So wherever I think it will be, and if, if it doesn't show up very much and it's just kind of faint, that's okay because the green is on there as well. And once it all dries, it, it kind of pops it out. So basically, I'm just adding a little bit of highlights here and there where I think the sun would be coming through. So on this side here, I'm thinking the sun's coming on this side. So I'm just touching. It's yellow and what again? Yellow and then the liquid white that you started with, but hardly any liquid white. Like you just need a little drop of it. And the reason for that is we want it to be thinner so that it sticks better on this thicker paint. So the thinner that you have it, so if you have a little bit of liquid white with it or even some like paint thinner, that thins out the color so that it'll come off of your brush better. So when you touch it, it goes on top of it and it doesn't make it into mud as much. You see what I mean? It'll, it'll stick to the top of the paint instead of muddying it, making it all blurry. But you can go down it, just, it just makes it look a little bit more realistic that we have kind of more dimension to your branches. So it's called highlighting. 
you can just see I'm just touching my brush and push it into that, right? And then just touching it on. And just in spots, you don't have to go all the way down, just kind of wherever you think it might be a little bit of color different to where we'd like it to be. And you don't want it to always look the same because then it looks robotic, you know what I mean? So I'm just randomly touching little spots here and there. And you just push your brush into it. Looks bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then same, same with this color here, you guys. You can use this brush here again. You just come into here wherever you want to kind of highlight your grass. So you see how I'm just kind of rocking my back and forth here over the other parts of the grass. That just gives us another level of kind of dimension that there's kind of some hills. And then if you don't like, you can just lift up on it and that makes it look like grass. Can you kind of see what I did there? Here, I'll do it again on this side. Just I'm I'm adding the same yellow that we had in the trees. That part I'm doing. Too. I'm just bringing it down like with the same, just to give it some dimension. And then I can lift up on, and it makes it look like there's grass growing. Just yeah, mm -hmm. have it again. Remember we did with the correct yellows. We went with the one. Oh, that's right. No, so I would take half of that. Can you see what I mm -hmm. just did? And you can even add the green. Yeah, it works a little bit better. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. So did every can everybody see how he did the grass down there? Just kind of blend it and then you just lift up with your brush to keep I'm pretty good with the grass. I just wish we'd known where they were going. That's pretty good. They were going good. For. Yeah. One corner of my picture I like. I think I'll just cut it right here. <laughs> the corner, the grass. Yeah. And then see if you guys wanted to, if you, um, like see, see, I have a spot right here. Well, let's put another little tree here just because it's fun. There. <clears throat> the same process and it's like touch. Let's see, I've already got other green on this, so I don't have to really do highlights and, but you see how you can just kind of add more. And then I'm just taking the knife and just kind of making my own little trunks here and there and that kind of thing. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. Did, did he? So oh, I don't know. And of course, you can add you can add as many trees or have as less amount of trees as you want. You can make little rocks in here if you want to. There's all sorts of things, but I kind of want to be close to the two hours because I don't want Bettina to be up till five in the morning doing this. Because <laughs> I know he, I'll sit here and I'll I'm fine. I used I'll to tweet work. things. I paint them. Man, I could change this and change this. Before you know it, it's a big mess. So just be happy with what you're done and look at it tomorrow be like, wow, I actually did a pretty decent job. And if there's stuff you want to touch up, the thing that's nice about oil paint, takes about a good 10 days for it to dry. So you can always add more things. So once it dries, if you want to add some more branches in here or some trees or different, you can still work on it. That's kind of the nice thing with oil paint. So as long as you don't have like cats and dogs that are running around and bumping into it or somebody bumping into them. Can I see what everybody's looks like? Could that yeah. be? What is it doing? 
Give me five seconds. Let me have five little... seconds. Let me no problem. Oh, uh, that looks awesome, Tammy. Let me see. I got to go through and see what we did here, guys. Hold my very smart. Oh, yeah. That looks great, Tammy. Can I yeah. see it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Can you see it, Mom? You I have to put it, on, put it on gallery view, Mom. Oh, on gallery. Oh, and then that's oh look at that. Great. Oh, there's Tammy's. That looks great, Timmy. Timmy, that looks great. great. It's, it's, it's oh, what did I do? Come wow. close with Timmy. Okay. Timmy's okay. looks yeah, awesome. I'm show hers. That and looks Sue, great. And Sue, are you going to still work it? for me more? What? Sue, oh. are you going to put more trees and stuff? Yeah, mm -hmm. I have to work more, but okay. this is the this I is would, part I like. I would be ugly. But, but you can get the idea, right? I have oh, to finish looks, my trees and grass. That looks beautiful, Kate. Hi, Kate looks great. No, not at all. I win the Oh, wow. Sure. Those look awesome, you guys. So oh, the, trick is, awesome. the trick is how far you can hold it back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to do that great. as well. Hey, did y'all see mine yet? Pamela oh, on ours. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Mine's Who's off? Timmy? From England. Uh, oh, what do you like? Timmy, did you put the gallery review on? Yes, I did. Oh. Okay, oh, good. Steven. Pamela Look at that. Tammy's looks on, good. It shows on mine. Are we on mute? Mine is super. Oh, it's the oh, you know what? You know what, Tammy? You can use little lighter whites on that, and you can brighten that up a lot. And who? Yours. Yeah, with the blue, just add a little bit of whites. Like if you okay, want to let it dry. Pamela's showing hers on mine. Oh, let's see here. Let's flip the next oh. one over here. Well, this oh, one that's... here. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh. I got to flip through my phone too, guys. So, oh, looks great, Joanne. Paul, yours looks amazing. Thanks, <laughs> buddy. I saw everybody. <laughs> oh, good. Oh. Awesome. Yeah. If you look under Tammy, it's showing Pamela's right now. Oh, okay. That's Pamela's. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying I gotta change my phone here so I can see. Oh. Nice. Okay, so and I didn't hear what you said because people were talking. Oh, that's pretty. That looks nice, Pam. That looks like a night one. So what were yeah. you saying about Steve, and you yeah. said something about white or something? Yeah, you can just if it's too dark for you, you can add white to it. like so it, it, on funny. your second at Tammy's video right now if that's i have that yeah so that is, that's pam's picture or is that tammy this is pamela's okay i'm um, pamela on yours if i were you like what you could do is just even if you want to let it dry just a little bit overnight tomorrow you can make a little bit more lighter clouds like with the white the and the fan brush yeah. and then yeah. in your mouth you can make the trees come up a little bit higher so that you have like more levels of trees coming into these trees that you already have Okay, and it's yeah. still, so it's because a lot of mountains have a lot of trees that are higher up because you have a little bit of space there. I have I a tiny fan brush. Your, yeah, or and just put it with yeah. the fan brush. You know what? Little, That's the key. You got to have a really good fan brush. Yeah, and, and it is, you know, it's, it's just getting started though. You don't want to say, hey, go buy a $20 fan brush. But if you really want to do more of it, it's worth the investment to get better brushes because yeah. they work better. We're, but we're in Palm time, Beach. We're not home. Trying it, you want to make sure that you're in a bunch of money because it can get pretty expensive brushes and canvases. And but if you really like it, and as you get better, you should see the crap kind of brushes I have. I got so many of them because I had a bit better brush. <laughs> so, but yeah, and then in the corner you want to sign your name, of course. And uh, the way that the way that you do that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put my dog's paw print. <laughs> you could use the liquid white or thinner, and then any color, and you just take it. Brown no. right. So. Yeah, it grows it sometimes, and sometimes it takes it off. Yeah. Yeah. Had this since he had COVID. He's had it on. Oh. So did you? So did everybody have fun doing this? Yeah. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Never. Yeah. Uh, I, had a I had fun teaching you guys too. I hope that everybody kind of, if there's anything you guys can think of for me to do better, let me know. Cause I think if we I could do this. on your supply list, um, like I forgot the white part of it because somebody else picked up my supplies. So 
that oh, you didn't have to, to make it combine the uh, I think my phone's died. I, so I'm sorry. It's like in one, I was saying combine the supply list so it's like in one place so you don't forget, you know, certain things. Okay, that I'm sorry. You're talking now. I can't see. I got to go through my phone. Oh, I'm sorry. It's Kate. <laughs> and also, <laughs> oh, she's Kate, saying have a drink nearby. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Oh, yeah. there's Kate. So you didn't have the liquid white, Kate? Is that what you didn't have? No, that's why it's looking so dark and everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The liquid white really. And, and it I would have made it, I think, move better. Yeah, it totally does. Like, yeah. It's really hard to paint without the liquid white on it because the liquid yeah. white makes it so you can move everything so, so much right. better. If you did yours without liquid white, that's I good because it's a lot more work. It was harder. <laughs> yeah, because it doesn't come off of your brush and you can't move the paint as well. It sticks. So, right. um, and I'm sorry that you missed get, not getting the liquid white. It was on the list. No, that wasn't your fault. Somebody else picked up my supplies and gave them the list and I think it just didn't get yeah, on there. Yeah, it's a really good trick to make it easier and and as you keep practicing. But I'm, I am really appreciate everybody that came on and let me try this with you guys. And oh, if thank you, know, you Stephen. And next it was super fun, Stephen. Fun. Yeah, yeah. Thank I'll you. do it again. Really fun. Yeah, maybe we'll have to do another one and do a different yeah. kind of painting. But this this one, it, it's pretty difficult, but it, I'm, all of yours looks amazing. If you showed somebody, so this is the first time I've ever painted, they'd be like, oh, wow, that's amazing. They all look really good, guys. I'm really impressed. Thank the you, artists. Stephen. Yeah, they're beautiful. All because beautiful. of you, Stephen. What, what's that, Paul? I said they look beautiful. Yeah, they did a great job, I think. Oh, and the white, somehow the yellow. It's fun to learn the techniques too, because you know, just doing the knife bit is a major difference in doing it right than when I first started doing it. But once you said yeah. flatten it down, then it made all yeah. the difference in the world. And it's all practice. Like the more that you yeah. kind of play with it, the, like, oh, that makes sense. And on YouTube, there's a lot of people that really are good at teaching. Like this is just my first real go at this. And I, I really like doing this. I, I think it's fun because eventually I'd like to do this in front of kids at a hospital that can just teach kids how to build stuff or people with cancer or something so yeah, this is good great teaching so yeah, i'm trying to, learn how to be a good teacher so <laughs> thanks for being my guinea pigs <laughs>